Alright guys, it's bedtime. I've worked out. I had a little bit of an emotional day. I have submitted three assignments. One was late day, whatever. The other two were early, so we're good. And let's see what else did I do. I have family time. It's important. But now, it's time to get all of this off with just sweat and grime and whatever else pollutants and stuff are out there in the world. Um, all those nasties need to come off. Plus, I'm wearing makeup. So, yes, it's all Mary Kay, so it's non-comedogenic, so it, none of it clogged my pores. The sweat might have, but the makeup didn't. So, it's now time to take it off. So, because I have this wonderful pimple right here, it's the only one I really have left, but I, this, these nose ones are so annoying to me. So, let me clean off the camera. Okay, better. This is annoying. So, I'm gonna use my Clear Proof Cleanser the acne cleanser to start this thing off and just like the morning I'm not gonna do a whole lot of explanation because I just want to go to bed all right so let me adjust this a little y'all can see me <laughs> all right Now all of the Mary Kay cleansers also work as a makeup remover. Notice I'm not going by my eyes because they're not meant for eyes, they're meant for your face. So, y'all see that, right? All right? Some of the makeup came off my sweat. I'm a human being and I sweat a lot, but if you see, there's still a lot of foundation and flush coming off. Um, the highlighter is coming off too, I just can't show it as uh, well because it doesn't really have that much pigment when you're taking it off. So, I'm going to just take one more round with this. <sighs> then dry off. Now, we still have eyes to do, but Mary Kay has an amazing oil-free eye makeup remover. It works on all skin types and ages of one of us. So, as you can tell, I do use it a lot. All you need is this, some cotton swabs, you're ready to go. You can also use round cotton pads, but my household will use these, so that's what I'm using. It's what I got. Look guys, one round of wiping and I got like 90% of it off already. So I'm just gonna go flip it over, get the other side a little wet, and 
get the rest of it off. You always want to clean before you moisturize or put any supplementals on. And you gotta take care of the skin you're in, man. You only get one skin. Alright, one cotton swab, one eye. Not bad. I'm gonna get the under part a little. I forgot. Alright, All right. one cotton swab, one eye. It is saturated, it is full. That's one eye. Other eye. That's done. So now my face is clean. And we are ready to go to start the moisturizing process so I can go to bed. Put this stuff away real quick. to start with the thinnest go to the thickest the thickest on the top the thinnest on the bottom so I choose to do a lot of steps because I can and I have the time and patience for it um, and I know what works works for my skin after a lot of trial and error so we are going to start with color minimizer super thin and watery well not watery but Next, we have the Volume Firm Advanced Lint Lifting Serum. So basically, I'm doing everything I did this morning again, except at the end, we're going to use the nighttime. Oh, I forgot my nourishing oil. I messed up, guys. I still want my nourishing oil, so I'm just going to stick it on top, which is not recommended, but it's okay. I am a human being, and I just keep spilling this. Oh my god. Okay, besides the fact that this smells fantastic, and it feels great, it also um, makes my skin look like I'm glowing, and I love, I love looking radiant without any effort. So, I need to rinse the sink real quick so my mom doesn't have an allergic reaction to my naturally. She is uh, the most sensitive person I know that goes with any fragrance or scent. gonna go with the vitamin C serum and again a little goes a long way
Next I'm gonna do the deep wrinkle filler because if we can turn back time, I'm all for it. And again, this is more of like a spot treatment than all over treatment. Now these are my trouble spots. That's where it goes. Now I'm gonna use my night cream, which has retinol in it, just to make sure that I come looking like a 12 year old. You know, I would like to get carded again at some point in my life. Volume firm, or sorry, time wise, firming eye cream. always put your face creams on your hands and that'll actually help your hands reduce their signs of aging like wrinkles and dark spots and extreme dryness and then we end with the regular Folly Firm eye, Renewal Eye Cream I love this applicator could have scrubbed my lips with the satin lips scrub but I just really want to moisturize my lips because they've been feeling kind of dry so I'm going to use my satin lips balm and just kind of put some on to protect and rejuvenate my lips as I sleep and it does have shea butter in it That's about it. And as you can tell, I use a bunch of different lines and a bunch of different products. But because they're all Mary Kay, they won't create mer the chemical warfare on my face. And I will have less breakouts. I can't say I will have none because part of that is just hormonal. And that I am a woman. But it will reduce them down to like less versus I used to be pizza face. So, I love the skin I'm in. I am taking care of it and you should too. On that note, I am moisturized and tired. I am going to bed. Good night, folks. Mm -hmm.